Welcome back to Friday Night Gaming. We're gonna go find Polly and out drink her. We're gonna do our the possible so your profile says you work in the ninth new circle. future Satan, but not five. Satan. Well, your profile the Queen of Hell. Six right, she's trying, but she ain't gonna get it. You players. know why? Next. <sighs> why? Because nobody outsmarts the devil. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I was gonna say? I thought you were gonna say a sexist joke. <laughs> well, I am a rich <laughs> asshole now. Rich jackasses are usually the way, or that way from birth. If you want to fake it, drink a damn devil. I don't think I read that right. Whatever. It's okay. At the Fat Monk. Do, do, do we want to talk to you? Whoa, this. We took a turn somewhere. Uh, oh. Well, at least they did the work for us. What's going on? I can't, I can't see. What are they? What does it smell like my grandmother's basement? Man, thank God I'm on top. Your delicate sensibilities oh, just... could not have handled uh, this, my love. One guy looks like he's getting massaged. only starfish should get away with. I hate being on bottom. I don't know what else is happening there. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. Can we sit it's down? It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. I don't know. Wouldn't you agree, There's no context a Braxis Quincy person? Let me tell you. Can I possibly pay, like, a waiter or something to come in here and just give you the answer you want? <laughs> Woo! No! <gasps> oh, God. My knees are gonna be angry. I think angry my driver to is double parked in a handicap zone, so maybe it is time for me to get the fuck up. We didn't meet at Jim Jum's St. Patrick's Day party, though he does usually throw a fun one. You're Lola and Milo, <gasps> heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. A drink. But <gasps> this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon. Please, we we uh. Okay, look, yeah, give us your seal, bitch. We just want your seal. Is that dude doing the macarena okay. up there? We we won't tell anyone. Oh no, what he's we doing the Milo here, dance. Or, or anywhere in hell, <laughs> for that Guess matter. Guess we'll we'll forget all about all the stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Yes, they did. Yes. Because she knows all. She knows. They she'll yes, know they we did. lied. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such story, correct? What story? Uh, will do. <laughs> I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, <laughs> hey, 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 is below deceit in his ranking of manner defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight and will lie more. To Get annihilate her. a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Oh. You bet. Uh, um, how? Yeah, we're a demon again. Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the public defender's <laughs> office. Uh, seriously? Yes. Um, oh. Okay. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait, what? That, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, what's happening? You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Abraxas. Spaghetti. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Meow. Easy. Huh? You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. Right. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Wait a dang minute. We still gotta outdrink you for the seal? Even if, if if we do send a potentially innocent man to eternal damnation? You must respect the rules of the game, child, even though you may not respect the game itself. Oh, what a crock. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Meow. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy. Ready? <sighs> I suppose as ready as we're going. Bye. Were you uh, brought up to speed? They'll learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Professional is what they are. <laughs> if you nice say so. Right. Already. Watch Hands those plurals. Hands at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat and see you on the other side, kids. Can I have my drink back? Is that dude humping? He is. You are. Uh, 
Do you want to get in on this? I'm good, thank you. Hey. Sent me to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting... The toxic oh tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speak for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, <laughs> and right over here. and a Braxis Quincy person, Esquire Junior. Huh? I, I need a drink. Yeah! Yeah, hear, hear. Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother, spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth, and just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam... Ooh. Courage, double talk. What charm. is double talk? Two shots. Of this. Charisma. Should we do double talk? Yeah, That's let's a new try. one. Let's Add double talk, please. Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. I would like to place a bet, sir. Ornery noises. Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these I'm trials not going. Mine. I got a Massachusetts man to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tenneville. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey. What's the first, uh, you it's know, me. whatever? Case number 899, the City of Nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh shit, this is ours. I mean, it's the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. Mm. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client... I... we'd like to hear Roberto's side of things. Yeah, whoever said that, that's really smart. Mr. Spaghetti? <laughs> I was born in a very small, very humble town in the Belgian province of West Flanders. Faster! I just want to say that I never meant anyone any harm. I only wanted a house sitter for my cat, Huey. Named oh, after Huey, Huey Lewis, my favorite musician from New York. And the warlock I hired deceived me for his own villainous scheme of dastardly revenge. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty. I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his, his kindness accent. that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we? Do we really? Yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a <laughs> warlock shut incident up. just five minutes ago. And he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. No, I, I heard Roberto confess it. Uh, earlier tonight. <gasps> oh my god. Well, whoever said that must know something. Who said that? That's impossible. Roberto's an innocent man. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not going to give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, Wait, are I, we supposed uh, to get Lo I have it right Roberto here on my phone. convicted? A, yeah. I took a picture of it with an app that makes... It turns your face into a rabbit. It got banned for being racist for some reason, but uh, I downloaded it before it got taken off the store. That confession is a forgery, Your Honor. I, I, I watched Andy trace the warlock's signature from his uh, driver's license. Boo! What? I wouldn't. 
Bailiff. Sorry, Charlie. A lot's permitted in the courts. You know that. We all know that. I mean, we are in hell, but... Forgeries are for absentee <laughs> landlords trying to prove they don't speak English. It's beneath the eyes of Minos and beneath this tribunal of karmic distribution. But... Any other evidence? Never mind. Shot clock expired. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you... Guilty. All right. Oh, dear. Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately remanded for processing in the morning. Ah! Oh. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. The high courts are well, proudly right. sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok fuel pump sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye. <laughs> well, all right. I don't feel good about what we just did, Milo. We'll save him Sending later. Roberto to hell. That we should have just rolled the dice there. Maybe tried working another monarch. I don't know. Listen, Polly. Apollyon must know something we don't. Why else would it be so like important for her to keep Roberto right in hell? I just wish I didn't have to see his face when he when he realized he wasn't getting acquitted. How do we get out of here? Right. Can we go somewhere now? Milo? Lola? Uh, no. Yeah, it's you. Your immediate presence is requested. And this ain't a request. Mm. Go to first and is her right now. She's waiting for you at the school, your straggler. Thank you for your understanding. Can't she just teleport uh, me there? I guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. Okay. The sign says that giant door is the, the 87th Propyleum to the Nine Circles. Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Cockro to Eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well Ooh. before uh, Cockro. Don't you go downstairs? I don't know. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. Oh, well, you can't because our costume's gone. Well, yeah. no, we're just in the um, the regular area now. Yeah, well, we have to go downstairs to the sealed knot. Right? I don't know. They said meet us at the thing. Hold on. Oh. So helpful. So go downstairs to go to the taxi? I don't know. It said go to the place between something and so who even wants and get her seal, but I don't think that was downstairs. Also I'm kinda curious to go upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs first. Okay, just disappear in the wall there. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Damn it. Thought I was onto something. <sighs> running, running, running. Can we go faster? Please, can we go faster? <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sliding down. Made a huge mistake. I apologize, everybody. This 
this way? Left. This way? <laughs> Do you know for sure, or are you guessing? Well, we we have no objective here anymore. We have to go to wherever. I don't know what it's called. Taxi? Yeah, go to the taxi. Oh. I thought we still had to do something here. There was no objective. If you go to the map, there's no objective here anymore. I wonder if these maybe had a clue of what we're supposed to do. So then do we have to go down here? We have to... Meet Polly in the school. Oh yeah, okay. Why don't I listen to you more often? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> you need to be more assertive and say shut up and go the other way. Alright. There you go. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. I want you to discover things on your own. Mm, I don't <laughs> want to discover the wrong ways though. Especially for how long it takes to backtrack in this game. <laughs> you slap me, you say, you go the other way. Go. Oh. Oh my. Oh, okay. Uh, Sam? Oh, God. I'll drive. Whoa! Hmm. Still a cutscene. What should we do? Should I try and climb in front and like steer? <sighs> Not that I want to, but I'm uh, nervous of careening into like an evil <laughs> Put your phone down. No, no, no. Sam will definitely help. Let's just have Is like an, uh, I don't know. What way to remotely control this thing? Mm, why does she have to have that? Um, cause it's magic? God, <laughs> doodle, the way you dress, it's like you're trying to look pregnant. Wait, who's that? Shh. <laughs> She's just practicing for college. What was the... You're always saying what? I don't need friends. No, I don't need boyfriends. Yeah, I'll get a boyfriend. That's, Ooh, that's not helpful. <laughs> Subtitles, what are you oh, doing? Oh, Lord. Right you are, Lola. It's your turn. Oh, you are so very introspective. So self-aware. You're like one of those losers that starts to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. Everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. And here's the suicide hotline if you're feeling depressed. Leave Lola alone, Wormwood, Good okay? Lord. She doesn't have the inner strength like I do to handle it. <gasps> what? I'm sorry, I, you're so much stronger than I am physically and intellectually. I don't know why I said that. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought your sisters would I be really I didn't think that's what that was going to be. Mina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be... Oh. They would be really impressed. First, you befriend a dead rock star who once drank a fishbowl of laundry detergent on a dare. <gasps> and then you out party a monarch of Hades Apollyon. That's really something. I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Jesus, Doodle, are you ever gonna get a car? Or are you still throwing away your money, saving dolphins or something? Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise assholes, but still, you don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know? Uh, do your sisters really sound like that? Not that I can complain. My sister sounds like the bad seed if she wasn't struck by lightning. Grew up and followed an archaeologist named Steve to New Mexico. They don't, they don't sound exactly like mm. that. So I'm not that good with the colloquialisms, but it's close enough, okay? <laughs> Previously on Lola's dad's life, he had a past marriage and sex with other humans. <gasps> he lived in Detroit with three daughters he would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. And the script had 12 writers. No, oh. this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. She just sat in the corner and pet Baxter the whole night. Yeah, I know all of this already. Also, Lola knows that none of this is a bad... It's fine, Milo, it's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even engage. It's like it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Noodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. <laughs> Why? Why do you call her Noodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. <laughs> Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. 
Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal site. Just ignore them all. It's not uh, even... Like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college. Overlapping dialogue. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the almighty, in the fate. Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. That was a cool yeah, transition back on. I barely even noticed Holiday that it switched to winter. Holiday dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. Your yeah, sister's is a moron. deserves a spirit acting award or anything, but your sisters sound like morons. They are morons. <laughs> the sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, so why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Because there's still time. There's still time enough to do something about time to party about everything. And get the fuck out of hell. Time enough for somebody to do something if we don't make it back. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family. And you gotta care about them. Because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. What? Oh, if there's really? only one option, why did it? Yes, really. Oh, what is really? happening? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I already ordered it. I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Oh, well, they all start with J? Sam. Thank God. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi, kids. Just, just give me a second here. Thanks. <laughs> Albuquerque? Why the hell is this zip code so close to hell, then? Oh, fine, I don't want to talk <laughs> oh, about it anymore. Just get it here. <laughs> Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. And uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car. So, sorry. Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How do we even get back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building, you know? What? So, you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Yeah. Back to the Strangler. A polygon is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah. It's Did we pick where we're going to go? Yeah. Or is it just going to take Save us there? And then home. It's been so long talking. Ah, uh, shit. No. <laughs> I hope so. Whoops. Mm. Oof. Come on, Xbox. You can do it. Speed bump. Oh, I remember this place. Oh, no jokes this time. <laughs> this is the first place Sam took us. The taxi driver. Not you. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay. And uh, we've gone to okay. far. I guess I get this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a schoolyard strangler. It's right there. Oh, that. Okay. So that is. The only place you can go to. I'm stupid. Never mind. Don't mind me. You thought about becoming an attorney, right? Um, what? I'm talking to Lola. You wanted to be a lawyer? At one point, I think. Um, yeah, I did. At one point, before I died. You both did well. Roberto's being transferred to the Seventh Circle as we speak. I know you don't feel it, but you did a good deed here tonight. Which, I shouldn't have to tell you, is very rare in hell. Well, you're right. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. It feels like shit. Roberto was nice and, and looked really fucking scared. Really fucking scared. Really scared. 
I hate this. I feel like I stepped on a big spider and I get the feel it squish. Ugh. Let's have a drink. Come on. I hate Contests that of drunken endurance are as old as simians, but the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Can we, can we go, so please? Dreary. Surfs dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves whoa, to the beach. Jesus, whoa. Whoa. Being this game. Fat and fame and leisure. Huh, sounds a little familiar. Except, didn't they take baths like once a year? I don't take baths ever. Yeah, but you shower. Yes. You have sewers and sanitation now. And sure, artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity. But until then, you can get toilet paper online. So. Damn straight. The point is, people have always drunk to excess, drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, and wrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it, as you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day. <gasps> and you can't dodge the bill collector forever. You drink, though, right, Polly? We saw you at the, uh, at the sealed knot. Of course, Lola. But there's having fun to have fun, and then there's having fun to not be sad. The difference is in what's waiting for you in your empty apartment when you get home. The fuck? This game just got, like, deep. Finally. How long does it take to clean a fucking bathroom? Huh? I texted Father Van Dyke to let everyone back in. Look, guys, Roberto is a piece of something happening tonight. And I'm going to drink with you now because you did what I asked. And Woo! I'm an angel of my word. But stay out of the way from this point forward. Sound good? Let's go. Bring it on. I'm... We're good. We're set. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready. Do we need a drink? Uh, Down the shot, stack the shot. First one to make Jacob's ladder wins. Yeah, got it. And a one, and a wait, two, and. Wait. Come on, Lola, you're falling behind. What, what am I supposed you're to do? You're supposed to put it on top of the other glass. To be honest, this is not a good look. Pick up the pace, Lola. Let's go, Lola, let's go. Hurry it up. Fucking trigger! Oh my god. No! <laughs> let's go, Lola, let's go, oh. hurry it up! Hey! For someone who doesn't like to party or whatever, you're pretty good at this, Apollyon. Yeah, well, uh, I've lived a few lives. I know this is important to you guys, so. Yeah, awesome! Woo. Great, did we win? You should see what I can do with a yo-yo. Walk the dog and everything. Well, if there isn't anything else, I should really get back to my soon-to-be eventful night. Uh, do you, by chance, know how we died? Because, uh, because I really can't remember. Well, wait, maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to know. Do you want to know, Lola? Yes. Because it's yes. not a truth for everyone. Yeah, I... Lay it on us. Car accident, the stoplight at Oak Grove. I didn't look up to see the red. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Lola died on impact. Milo three hours later. Well. Huh. Okay. Okay, kids. That's look it? to the mad prophet. We want to hold fast to our senses and to our faith something, something and better than think that. their consequences through to the end. Think about the consequences of tonight before you go and do something to make your mothers turn their heads. What do you think that means? <laughs> Who knows? All I know I is care. I hope we did I just don't know. I can't. I just don't no, know. I'm, I'm sure we did. Polly seemed like a, a, well, maybe not a good egg, but a less hell-spoiled egg. I'm sure she had a good enough reason to want him here. Yeah, maybe. They're lovers. Probably. <gasps> we got a seal. The tale of the treacherous trial. Got Polly's seal of approval. Ah. <sighs> Well, you'll all get our seal of approval if you like, comment, and subscribe. But for <laughs> now, God. like that because we're in hell. <laughs> but for now, that's the end of this episode, and uh, we'll see you all later. Bye. 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 That's, are you? Uh, things great. Oh, I didn't see because the audio thing. Okay, I see. The, okay, all right. And then, I just I. <laughs> I'm like away. I just said I don't. I'm just triple checking. Okay. Oh, okay. Unless you want to do foley for this. No. No, 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 no. no see, it's jumping. No more foley work.